Microsoft's Edge browser might just be one of the best browsers for the Mac. I'm gonna walk you through some of the features and explain to you why I think it's one of the better browsers available on the Mac. Now, Microsoft Edge browser, we think of a browser that's just available on Windows devices, but Microsoft is using the Chromium open source platform that Google Chrome is built on, and that's from Google. So a lot of the features and the way that this browser operates and functions is gonna be very much the same as Google Chrome. However, Microsoft has added a lot of unique features that I think make for a great experience here. So let's walk through and look at some of the things that I have opened. Obviously, we have a standard, you know, browser desktop view right here in the center. But over on the left hand side, I have my tabs. Now, usually tabs are opened on the top. And if you open a lot of tabs, then they shrink together and it makes it hard for you to see what tab is open. With them listed over on the left hand side, makes it a lot easier to see what tabs you have open. And of course I can minimize that. And then I just have kind of a window that just pops out and that takes away from it utilizing a whole bunch of space. So very cool feature having it opened over on the left-hand side. Of course, I can always turn off vertical tabs and go back to tabs at the top. And I could very easily switch that back to vertical tabs and then uh, of course pin this and have it opened all the time. So for the sake of showing you everything, I'm gonna have it pinned open. I do like to have it minimized so it doesn't take up as much space. You'll notice a grouping of tabs here that has this blue line. This is called a collection. You can actually create tabbed collections that open up and stay within that little collection. And then when you close all of them, you can reopen that entire collection. This is absolutely fantastic and a big time saver for me when I'm working on projects and I have a group of tabs. And in the past, I used to just leave them open even when I wasn't working on that project because it was too big of a pain to either bookmark all of those and open them up one by one or save all of them in some other browser window and minimize it. It was just a pain. And so having a collection is absolutely great. And you can add items to collections. You can remove items from collections. You can create multiple collections. Let me show you how that works. So this is my main collection. And so if I closed my browser and opened it back up and selected just that collection, it would open up this list right here. But I can create multiple collections. And so I've started to create collections when I'm working on a client project. So that way I can open up everything that I need for a client project and then close it and open it back up when I need it. It's absolutely fantastic. All I have to do is right click here. I can open all four in a new window or a private window. I can add items to the collection, edit the collection, absolutely fantastic. I can click on the collection to see the items that are in it. And I can even add notes down below, which is super cool. So I can just add a simple note to this and then hit the checkbox and I've got notes down there as well. Perhaps I wanna remember where I left off, what I was working on, boom, add a little note. And then when I want it to go away or check it off, I could just click right there. Super, super cool. So having all of these collections is great because now I'm able to sort those tabs and keep them organized so I can even see which tabs are within each collection. So let me just open up this other collection. I'm gonna open up all four. You can see it's gonna open up all four of those tabs here. And now I have that open in that collection and I can easily minimize that collection and reorganize it in my list over here. Uh, if there's an item that I wanted to add to a collection, so perhaps I have my main section here and I wanna add my personal website, I can add this tab to a collection simply by right clicking and going to add to group and then hit main and it's gonna add it to the group. You can see it moved it right up there and now that tab is part of that group. This is a super cool feature just for organization and keeping track of the different tabs that you have open. It allows me to go into more of a personal mode when I'm like, working on maybe watching some YouTube videos and updating my task manager, just stuff like that. And then switch into a project mode where I'm working on something specific for a client. Absolutely love it. You'll notice over here on the right hand side, I have Twitter pulled up. Now this section over here allows you to have multiple different applications over on the right hand side. And this acts as almost like having a mobile view, like having your cell phone up next to your screen. So I could have Twitter up over here in this little split screen view. I can then switch over to something like Instagram or I can pull up YouTube and YouTube is a little tricky in this uh, very skinny bar, but it still works great. 
and it's easier than having windows over the top of each other or having a window that ends up behind the other one. I can also have Discord opened up here or TickTick for managing my tasks and all that good stuff. It's absolutely fantastic, the things that you can do with that bar. And you can add multiple things just by clicking over here and adding any applications that you have or links to different pages. And there's lots of different search options and tools that you can enable and disable here as well. And then you can manage all of the tabs uh, that you've added or all the sites that you've added over here on the right hand side. So besides all of that, it has like traditional bookmarks. So if I wanted to bookmark a page, I could use the Command D, Control D to add a bookmark to the page. Of course on a Mac, it's Command D and add to bookmark. I find myself not using bookmarks as much because I can use these collections and there's things that I typically would have uh, several bookmarks to different sites that I would pair together and I'd have to open each one of those one by one. But now they're just collections and it's very simple for for me to add multiple collections and manage all of that very easily with an Edge browser. Being that this browser is built on Chromium, all of the extensions that you usually would use in Google Chrome are going to work. The thing that I did when I opened up Edge browser on my Mac is I just imported everything over from Google Chrome. That brought over all of my bookmarks, it brought over tabs and some of my history and different stuff like that, as well as all of the extensions. And I've been utilizing a handful of extensions and haven't had any issues with them in Edge browser. So for me, Edge browser has been a fantastic experience. You log in with your Microsoft account, which allows you to sync between different devices. So if you have the Edge browser on your phone or you have it on another computer, you can sync across different devices just like you can with Google Chrome. There are some features that might make logging in with Google even better. So you don't actually have to log in to use Google to sync. You use Microsoft for that, but you can log into Google and have additional features there as well. It also supports having multiple workspaces. And so I can add an additional workspace here by clicking on this little icon and adding an additional profile. So right now I'm linked up to my personal account, but I also have a Microsoft like Office 365 business account. And so I can add that as well and switch between those different profiles. So it's nice to have multiple profiles there and you don't even have to have multiple Microsoft accounts to have multiple profiles. So if it makes more sense for you to keep profiles separate, you can easily do that as well. Another feature it has is search. So you can hit control Q and it'll bring up this little search box, which will allow you to use keywords to search tabs or windows to find something that you're looking for, which I think is a great feature, especially if you have a lot of stuff opened and maybe even in a collection and you wanna search for it, it's a neat feature to get around Edge browser if you are a power user that has lots of stuff going on at the same time. If you are logged into Office 365, you also have access to your different apps like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and your files, which makes it great because if you're on a device, you wanna edit these within a browser, it's very easy for you to just click and it opens it up in a browser as opposed to opening it up in the Microsoft Word application. And just a couple closing thoughts. Like I said, it is based on the Chromium platform, which means it's very good on memory management as Chrome didn't used to be. It's gotten great at not utilizing much memory from those tabs that you have in the background that you aren't currently viewing. So I found that my experience between jumping through different collections and having multiple tabs opened at the same time has been really great. I just make sure that if there's things that I'm editing, I save because to save memory, sometimes the Edge browser, which really is Chromium, halts the actual tab. And then when you go back to the tab, it has to refresh it. So I just recommend, regardless of what browser you're using, make sure that you always save what you're working on before you go to another tab, just in case your system decides to save some memory and halt that instance. But the Edge browser is fantastic. I've got a link to it down in the description below. If you're on a Mac, highly recommend giving it a try to see if it's something that helps you out with your productivity. I know I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do, but I do, and I think it's a great tool. So give it a download and try it out.